Okay, got my coffee, got some food things together, and we're back. So we've done this page. And I think it's looking okay. Let me see if I put the light on here. So now I'm going to do this lady. So bit of warding. Awful. <laughs> I can't do straight line, I can't do round, can't do nothing. Okay. Let's get all the bits off. So make sure the pocket is there. Okay. So hopefully it is looking vintagey, this uh, book, as I wanted it to be. But again, I'm supposed to make it shabby chic. <laughs> I've got, I've got carried away again. Never mind. If she doesn't like it, I'm having it. <laughs> I'm keeping it for myself. Right, just make sure I tuck this edge onto the wadding. So I've got Sticking it down now um, onto the base. Went out earlier to pick up a box of um, bits and bobs, some, I don't know what they are, embroidery threads and whatnot. And I found something. It's amazing. It's for touching. Um, I, it's a small little gadget. But I got it here. I'll show you. It is amazing. There we go. Is this for touching, guys? Look at this. I've never seen it before. It, it's got the tiny little bobbin in that gadget and then there's a little hook and then there's somebody already start this is this is oh this is the old box of uh, uh bits and pops from uh, somebody's sewing box and i've got some letters it's from date back to the 60s and 70s look somebody started it look how do you carry on i haven't a clue <laughs> isn't that amazing UK yeah and I found another of this uh, bobbin in the box so there's two look at that Must I, uh, it's something I would love to learn but I just haven't got the uh, the patient and the eye because it's so tiny it looks like I might have to look at all this I didn't think people yeah, do touching with a, a, a little hook and um, or maybe it's not tatting. Maybe it is crochet. But that's what I found in the box of gadget I got this morning. Right, so that is that. Um, just wondering again, do I need to... Um, 
do a neat turn the edge this is from the box of gadget I got this narrow trim perhaps I should use it it's a it is cotton look cotton trim perhaps yeah I think I'll use it right perfect right let's start using it then Start using it as soon as I got it. That way, I'm not holding, <laughs> not holding anymore. She says, so somebody might have made this then. Because it's a whole box of um, nothing that I fancy, but some fun, some strange thread. Very strange threads in there, which are very old. When I say old, it'll be 60, 70, so vintage, isn't it then? So I'm going to put this little edge, this handmade cotton trim. I think I'm gonna do one more page and that's it otherwise it's gonna be far too thick so after this I just I think one more page and then I'm done with this book or album it's not a journal because it's not really for writing Yeah, one more page, like I said, and then and then I'll put it on the spine and after that I'll uh, fill it up whatever whatever I want filling in the pocket in this pocket in the envelope pocket right so what have I got and I've also got this this is also from the box so I don't know if this is this is what I would say but at least but it's in that old box so I'm gonna use it up so it is vintage right so I'm thinking of putting it on this edge On this edge, so I want to put it all the way down here. I like it scrunch up, so let's see if it scrunch up. Let's scrunch it up. Not too much there, just a bit. If I scrunch up a bunch on here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
Yeah, so I think I'll do that one. I'm going to be using fabric tape for this, I think. Oh dear. Is it going to come out? Clean up the nozzle bit. Right, it's coming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put loads on here. Some on there. Right. Right, let's start. So I'm going to be just gathering it up a bit. Sticking to my hand, please. <laughs> right. Well, I want to bunch it up a lot on here at the corner. That way. Right, is that going to be okay? Yeah, I think that's fine. A bit more there. So I'm going to start to uh, press them down now. I like this bit where it's all all gathered at the edge here. Right, I think I like that. So this bit I will use a bit of hot glue for quickness. That is all right. What do I have next? Um, let's see. I got this applique. Ooh, look at that. That looks good, doesn't it? Right, let's put it a corner here. Oh, I like that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right, and then I have also got this. Oh, I think that's good. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Don't overthink, just throw it on. Oh, I like that. This is one of my handmade flowers, Shabby. Whatever. Right. I think that's for good, isn't it? That is good, I think. That's really good. So let's not overthink and let's hurry up. That is perfect, that um, piece of applique there. Right, make sure everything is right. Let's get some more glue sticks. Right. 
Lovely how sometimes everything just works out perfectly. Right. This pearl was falling apart when I cut it off to from the uh, the mesh. But um Good. Now I'm putting a oh, better not come off you. Better put some glue underneath them. They look like they're loose. But that's the thing with applique with pearls in it. When they're hand so long, everything falls out when you cut when you cut it off the um, mesh. Gonna put a bit of glue there because there is the uh, end of that beading. So what I can do here, I can cut this piece off. Well, I got one extra bit. Right, get all my glue off. Just checking anything loose that one is need gluing on. And I think I need to glue this this bling onto the base as well. There we go. That one here. Right. Oh, that bit. Let's see. Right. Let's see. I think that that's really pretty. Right, let's put this piece on there then, overhead. Have I used this already? I'm checking if I use it on another image. Oh, I haven't. That's good. I thought I used it. That's good. Now I've got this one. Right. Cleaning the glue off my fingers again. You can't work when you're <laughs> covered in glue, can you? It's awful. Right, okay. So I'm going to use this whole applique. Normally people snip and cut into it, but I think the whole thing here works fine, but unless saying that I might be able to get away with cutting that off. Do I cut it off? No, I'll leave it on. I'll leave the whole piece on. So it's full of yummies. Right. Right. 
Right, that's it. I think we got another page done. That is brilliant. Didn't take as long as I thought it might. So let's put a flower on there. One of my hand make one. Um right, this is the hinge. So really do we want anything on this end where we're gonna close it? One on there amongst all the um do I want it here? I think we put it on this corner. Put the corner and do I want some um some lace on there? Uh, not lace um oh, I love this fabric. Uh that ribbon. Let's see we want some ribbon on there. Let's check. Just tying um ooh, do I want it? Let's tie it first with a before I cut it to see if I want it. Right. So we've got a fussy bow there. Right, see if I need to that. Not really, just can't really see it. Maybe it's a waste. Mm, again, we can, we can see it. Right, let's use it then. So maybe I can thread that. You want to drape it? No, it's all right. Let's cut it then. Right. Let's use it so we got more thing to look at. So that's that. I'm gonna put a flower on there. I'm gonna use um, what do you call it? Hot glue, can I use hot glue? Maybe not enough. Let me use um what we call it. Um my gel glue because it's more dimension. So I'm gonna put it on there. Here we go. We'll take a while to dry, but at least it will be welled, well, well, um, glued this way. There you go. Right. So we have got um, another page done. That's brilliant. Didn't take as long as I uh, thought it might. So I hope you like another page that we've done, which is a pocket one. Oh, I need to put um, a trim under in there. Let's find a glue there. But first, let me change my channel. And that glue, let me see what I'm going to put in there. Have we got any nice trim? Oh, what's in there? Oh, wow, not even that. That's my, <laughs> that's my precious. That's my precious. Right, I think I'm just going to use this um, narrow frame just to go in there. I think that's all I'm going to use because I don't want anything too thick really. Um, so that's what I will do. So I will um, and put that in and then we will be done. So you don't want to see me doing that, I'm sure. So... Once I've done that, um, we will go to the last page. So thank you again for uh, watching and um, I hope you like the process, my process of making the fabric pages. 
So I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.